Looking forward to seeing Luca back on the big stage. He's been in and out of the top 16 this last four or five years, so good to see him mixing it again with the big boys. He's a very talented player, isn't he, Luca Brussel? Of course, here courtesy of that win in June in the Championship League, as Radzi said. And on his day, you know, he's such a good and very fast scorer, isn't he? The complete sort of antithesis of Mark Selby, you'd have to say. But a fascinating contest nonetheless. Yeah, Luca, he's got perhaps the most uncomplicated style of any player on the tour. It's C shot, hit shot, that's pretty much the way he rolls. the jester is going to have to try and outmaneuver Mark Selby which as we know is a tough task at the best of times I think it's quite interesting that he did beat of course Selby here in 2017, 6 4, champion of champions. So it's not like you'd be certainly afraid of him. But he's got a score, and he's got a score heavy. One. Like Salvi obviously has the form coming into this match. Winner of the European Masters, semi finalist in the English Open, of course, as well. Narrowly losing to Neil Robertson 6 5 in that one, but he'd be full of confidence, Mark Selby coming into this game. And Luca, you would fear, would be a perfect opponent for him because he won't want to get involved in long belts of safety. He'd want a pretty open match, Luca. But in this short format, Alan, you know, first to four, it's such a quick race, isn't it? You know, yeah, that's a good point, Ken. I agree because. Part of Mark Selby's attitude to this match today, obviously he, he, the draw's been made a couple of weeks and he'll, he'll know he's playing Luca. Part of his attitude will be, I'm going to get some freebies today, I'm going to get some unexpected chances, so I have to jump on them when they come along. That's what you think when you're playing against Luca, but he plays like he did in that tournament he won. A few months ago, it's going to be a tough old job because when he's once he gets going, he's a fantastic talent, isn't he? Look, a brilliant player. Yeah, tough old job for the referee, Marcin Eckhart here, to try and get this pink. It doesn't go on its spot, so it has to go directly behind the spot, as close to a spot in line with the black in the top cushion. But it's quite awkward to get the Seven. pink right in there. But he's done a good job. This red does pot into the left centre, you can go up for blue or ball colour eight the red just to the left of the black, that's the one he'd love to get rid of but I don't think it pots into this bottom right hand corner pocket Coming around to have a look at that red, but I don't think it passes the black. So there is a red in the middle of the bunch, just a couple up from the black. You may try and drop on that one. get on that nicely and now we can get on the black and maybe 
eventually get this red left of the black out of the way because that would open the black nicely Fourteen. If you could bounce the cue ball off this top cushion into the two reds directly above the black. Still beyond this red into the left corner pocket. Astray. Yeah, that's the one area, isn't it? That Twenty-one. The cue ball, because of Lucas' cue action, it's so loose. It, his positional play at times can be loose, also. You know, you think of some of the players, the Higgins is, and, and you know, indeed the Mark Selby's of this world. You know that they would have got some sort of cannon on the two reds. He missed it by the proverbial, didn't he? So that's again it's a feature of his game and there's another one, is the recovery potting. But he does uh, get some mileage out of the cue ball if he can improve on that side of the game. And see, there again, I mean, alright, if the black goes to left corner, he's alright. 27. But the fact that he's having a look at it now tells us that he didn't look at it a minute ago, which he should have done. It does look as if it goes though, but as I say, it, he should have looked at that a couple of shots ago. 28. Well, again, it's the way he rolls, it's the way he plays. Yeah, he got on that nice, and now get this red out of the way. This will certainly help matters. Try and leave a nice uh, angle on this black when he puts this red he can stun up into one of those two reds just push one out away and beyond the other one that's exactly what he's trying to do here and if this works out oh, it's an excellent opportunity to win the frame at this visit with this important little shot this oh, I'm surprised at that he did have an angle on the black okay he's gone for the loose red but now he's got to pot this red and get a nice angle on the black again straight on this one, he's okay. A nice little cannon into those two reds. Mm. Not great. Yeah, I think 51. you don't like being critical but that was pretty basic Ken wasn't it for a, a player of well to be honest a player of anyone standing in the game professional level that was a very basic error so he's going to have to recover for the second time in this contribution once again having to go top side of the blue once again good recovery 52. now just put the finishing touches to it. Again, you think of the top players and they don't have to recycle the 57. cue ball as much as what Luke has done in this break. I mean, it's been brilliant, it's been very good, but one or two less positional shots. 58. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on that as the afternoon develops. getting close now this red and the color and you see 65. it's 75 remaining 65 ahead he's just had a quick look at the scoreboards he can push through the cue ball onto the black or he can screw back for the blue if he wishes Sixty-six. he's mm. okay he's on the blue but there's no red to follow. 
just needs the blue put himself 71 ahead so his opponent will require a snooker when he comes back to the table but he would have loved one, just one more red just to really secure this first frame <coughs> Max Selby is a master of getting Seven snookers one. so Lucas L won't be completely relaxed with a 71 point lead he'll have to still be careful here that's why he's putting a little bit of care and attention to this safety shot. But an excellent start for Luca Brussel. Luca Wonderful Brazil, 71, 71 break. Yeah, even the time that Mark's taken to play this shot. And rightly says 71 behind a four point snooker to tie with all blacks. But the time that he's taken tells you everything. He still is thinking about winning this frame. do much with the cue ball it was a natural part around the back of the black and that should now put paid to this first frame Max Elby will definitely come Look back to the table one. for sure but he's gonna need some come back to try and win this frame but there's no harm in coming back and potting a few balls One. But a very tall order, of course. And one thing about Max Elby, he'll always be trying, no matter how far he's behind. You don't blame him for this, particularly in the first frame, Six. just to get his arm going, get used to the speed of the table. This table is extremely fast. Seven. Yeah, I don't think he's got any aspirations of really trying to get back into the frame and win it. He's just a little tester here. Let's just play a little red down the cushion and see how tight the pockets are. There's your answer. <laughs> Max Selby. 14. Oh, I'm sure he played for a snooker there, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> a bit adventurous up and down in and out of ball try and pot this red over the corner pocket it looks pretty good what a shot this is <laughs> excellent attempt playing on <coughs> excuse me 58 points behind as you know genuine aspirations of winning the frame but I think part of the Mark Selby psyche is not just telling Luca Brussel it's telling the rest of the tour you better get me needing four five six snuggers before I'm gonna throw the towel in <laughs> no part of his makeup Yeah, he needs this to go in, otherwise it will be a nod to the referee. Good shot. 
So 51 points behind. Seven. 25, of course, remaining on the table. So four, four points, Nukas. Just a tie. Max Selby, seven. He actually won a frame at the Crucible a number of years ago, didn't he, against a Mr. Henry. Needing four or five snookers, so it can be done. <laughs> Well, that doesn't surprise me against Stephen Henry in that fairness. <laughs> <laughs> but this is not a bad snooker. I mean, have a look at that. Does the cue ball go through pink and black? Well, you'd want to have good eyes for that one, wouldn't you? I don't think it does. Neither does Lucas, so he's going to play off this side cushion, but he's got to be careful here. This is missable. I think he's missed it. And he could Fun. be in trouble once again. Max That's a little bit careless. Played it left-handed. That was a kind of shot there. I'm, I'm not going to hit the black. <laughs> That's what that was. And again, I, I'm talking about Mark's psyche, the way he tailors his game for, well, for anyone. Y you could almost sense it in Luca there, being careful, because he knows... He knows who he's playing, he knows what's going to come, and he, you know, he'll be thinking, right, okay, I've got to watch my, watch my P's and Q's here for the next five minutes. Once again, free ball opportunity if he misses the red, and the red is close to the green, so if he misses it playing slowly, there's every chance he could be tucked in behind it in a minute. Well, don't leave a free ball, Luca. <laughs> Max Albi four. See anything could have happened there, couldn't it? This is where you have to when you get to your chance you've really gotta put your opponent away. Luca missed the casual blue, missed that four snooker, and now he could be in another snooker again. Oh. He had to be in tight behind the brown there, he was in trouble. So still in a commanding position, Luca, but he'd love to see this red go into the pocket. He doesn't want to put through any more torture in this frame. Max Albi will be loving this. Loving the test of trying to get these snookers and a chance here for cue ball from behind the yellow. Doesn't hit this one well. You'd probably say safely say maybe 95% or 6% of the tour would have conceded needing four snookers. Max Elby is one of those players that will always keep going on. Back in the day, if uh, Stephen Hendry needed one snooker, he would have conceded. <laughs> but it's a little bit different now. sense don't you <laughs> he's got Luca thinking two snookers needed to, two four point snookers needed to tie and he's got Luca in all sorts of pain here <laughs> it's quite a clever little shot he played there trying to get the snooker and the pink or black and succeeded This could be it now if the red holds up and Luca's got a pot here. Put pay to this frame eventually. I wouldn't be surprised if he misses this to be honest. Now oh, well played. Good shot. 
what? relief for Luca Brussel. Seven. Yeah, lovely pot, wasn't it? Right into the back of the pocket, hitting that letter. Lovely sound off it. And initially, he was a decent 71, wasn't it? He was a little bit up and down, but certainly a nice break yeah. of 71 to start him off in this group four match. A few little exhibition shots just free up his arm a little bit. Tried to. Brown hasn't gone in. I'm sure the nod comes from the former world 12. champion, Mark Selby. Indeed, it does. So, the man from Belgium, the Belgian bullet, Luca Brussel, takes the opening frame in this group four match against Mark Selby. He leads by one frame to nil. Yes, welcome back to this wonderful Marshall Arena. And what a beautiful set it is. Day three, Thanks, group four match. In the former world number the one, Frank Max Selby. Max Selby to break. Against the man from Belgium, ranked 32 in the world. Here courtesy, of course, that wonderful victory in June. And in the Championship League. Best of seven, of course. Of course, the four for a place in tonight's final. Potential match against either Karen Wilson or Stephen McGuire. Quite a good break off there for Mark Selby. Okay, he's away from the, the ball cushion, but he's covered this red down the left hand side of the table. And we're starting to see a steady flow of uh, mainland European players coming onto the tour, and it was also good for Luca. Good pals with the Alex Ersenbacher from Switzerland and Simon Lichtenberg, good young player from Germany. So we've seen a, a trickle of players from the continent coming through, which is all good for well, it's good for everyone, obviously, but it's good for Luca. Brian Ochoiske, another one from France, mm. appearing this season. Yeah, Lucas Kleckers as well, also from Germany. And, and sometimes even his fellow countryman, a young boy, what? Ben Martins, isn't it? From Belgium as well, he's coming through. And we've got a couple of wild cards on today, playing a few tournaments, hopefully this year. But that excellent break off from Max Elby has produced a chance. trying to get that red just on top of the black there and now we can Six. pot this and move the red away from the black just to the right of the black excellent shot Seven. Just about wait his feet on the way in went in the tradesman's entrance, but it's home. Fourteen. See it again here. Feature of these tables. The far jaws not very forgiving. Fifteen. But the shot that he played off the blue, spinning around a couple of cushions, was a little gem of a shot. A beauty. On top side of that red, as I said. The first frame a couple of times. Luca lost his cue ball. This has been exemplary. Yes, it's early days. Two blacks and a blue. But 22. You know, top players and Selby's and Higgins, all these sort of guys, when they're in this sort of position, they understand the importance of keeping a tight rein in that cue ball. Now, spin out. He's playing here just to get top side of the blue anywhere. Well, 
decided to hedge his bets somewhat and settle for a long blue. That it's good and bad. The bad side of it is it's quite a tough shot. The good thing is that he fancies potting it because he played for it. And that's, a, as I say, that's a little sign of confidence, that. I'm trying to pick a spot for the next red, so I say, I say he, he clearly fancies knocking this in. Yeah, shock. You fancy knocking in nine times out of ten, but there is that added little bit of pressure on it now. Losing that first frame. That's why he's just putting a little bit of more concentration into it. He's got to put a bit of charge on the cue ball here. Yeah, a bit of pressure on that. Wouldn't have liked that myself so early in a match, particularly after losing Max the first frame. 23. He's got away with it. He's been very lucky. This was a long way away. Yeah, umpire calls a wide there. That was nowhere near, was it? Surprising. He clearly fancied it having played for it. This is where you earn your corn against Mark Selby now. I know it's only 23 behind, but you're playing a safety shot and you better make it a good one. Up behind yellow would be the call. That'll do. Yeah, I like that shot. It's like an aggressive safety shot. It's opening up all the reds. It's putting his opponent tight on the ball cushion. Even if he left them half a chance here. This is you know, that cue ball. It's not easy cueing, but it also sends out a signal to him. I'm going to open the reds here. You miss. I'm going to take my chance. So Good tactic there from Lupa Brussel. Look at Brazil for. Well, a missed call, but well, will he put it back? He may do, but he does have a shot. Yep. They've had a shot at a couple of reds there. Such as the way Mark Selby plays, he would have known before he played that last shot what would have happened if he'd have missed it. So he's given himself a little practice shot almost. I expect him to get this thing. Second time of asking. There you go. But it's gone wrong. But for cover with the yellow, which he hasn't got, so well played look at Brussel. That aggressive safety shot, particularly how tight you got to the bar cushion. Put Mike Selby in all sorts of problems there. One. It's been fortunate there. He tried to go into the two reds just above the black to the to the right of them. Try and bring them into play and still hold for the blue. with a lot of cue power Luca Brussel and cue that Six. beautifully he's on this red nicely he'll get onto the black straight after seven yeah it was some piece of timing wasn't it the initial red it you know, always going about technique but it, it proves the point doesn't it he's just a slip of a lad as young Luca but does he get through that cue ball and having created the opening through a good safety shot 
14. He's now back in the frame. <clears throat> 15. So again, just pay attention to his cue ball here. But straight in the black for comfort. Still okay, but. Not absolutely perfect. And, and the other thing, and these players will have watched the last couple of days, that partly to see how tight the pockets are along with this black cushion. So, Minding his work here with this little red. Shouldn't be a problem. 22. Good thing about the Rasson tables that we use. Champion of Champions, if you're accurate, they will go in. Is that straightforward? Twenty three. Well, just about struggled in. Very similar with that touching ball. Cannon in the very first frame just cut a full ball as opposed to maybe a quarter ball, just needed to glance off that red just to move it out of the way. And that's end of break. Again, could we get it safe up into the ball area, but try and keep the cue ball as close to that ball cushion as possible. It's one of those there, isn't it? I'm trying to spin a little web here and, and try and catch Mark in it. Not playing in behind a bolt colour, he's trying to leave Mark a difficult safety shot to execute. Yeah, and up to bulk there and look at Brazil. <coughs> excuse me, had a look and thought, well, I wouldn't fancy that shot, let's leave it for Mark. This is where he's brilliant, Mark Selby. He's, he's looking at, obviously, playing the right-hand one of the two together. It's a natural half-ball. Back into bulk. Every chance of in and off in the yellow pocket, in actual fact, the way he's going to play this. In some ways, that's actually what he will be playing. Trying to put the cue ball in that yellow pocket. You see? Brilliant thinking. Absolutely brilliant. Yes, he's fortunate, but that's what he played. Well, it's worked out a treat, hasn't it? Thought it was going in. <laughs> and perfect. Yeah, that was a beautiful shot. It, it, what, what he did there, he played the unlikelihood of outcome. That's what it was. It was... I'm going to get somewhere near the yellow pocket. If I go in, fair dinkum. I'll, I'll just need to take what I get. But if I knuckle it or don't quite find the enough, I've got my opponent in trouble. Brilliant. The trouble he is in the Brussel. This is a difficult shot. to avoid that red on the way back up it's left him his opponent a half a chance here with the red black is tied up now though so it's not a very clear cut chance good part one
good luck to try and get on that red very close to the black spot you've got to think he's going to try and shift the black and red here well taking his time about it but if he's landed just high of straight which he so has he's got a chance of bringing the black into play deep screw try and catch the north side of the black as we see it and may, may even go up for blue that's what he tried oh, and if the black goes that's Five. a real bonus it was a great effort wasn't it we'll have a quick look as the camera comes around it's very tight this black we'll have a look at this for an effort to bring both black and red into play it's a backspin on that cue ball well is that available it may just go in you know it's very tight just might just drop yeah good shot had to hit it in the into the left hand side and of course the pace Alan as well helped brilliant shot 12 and then two 13. points to the good Five reds, but they all, all four reds now, but long way off in terms of that. So, but the safety shot he played for me was just a brilliant piece of lateral thinking. Twenty, and that's one of his great strengths. Twenty-one. Such a master tactician, isn't he? All the angles, all the moves. Twenty-eight. He wants to take these two loose reds before he maybe goes anywhere near that red behind the black. That's the more difficult one. Twenty-nine. He's going to need a good shot here to get anywhere close to that red on the left-hand side cushion. Bit of a win and out of ball, good boy. Colors on the way down and indeed the way back. Pink is not helping. That's slightly in the way. If he takes the cue ball down to the left-hand side of the table, may go inside. Brown and green here. Lots of right-hand side. Too wide. Yeah. Mark Selby, so 34. 17 point lead for Mark Selby. That was an excellent shot as well. Nice little tap on the table from, from Mark. An acknowledgement. Yeah, because this red that may be playing for it's very tight to this top cushion you've got to get a perfect connection oh, be so precise with this particular shot 20. well that's another absolute belter isn't it Alan I mean it doesn't get much better <laughs> than that what a what a result as well gorgeous shot wasn't it absolutely stunning that's it, that wafer thing just scraped the red paint off the side of it. Look at this. What a shot. 20. Twice already in this framework. Look at what we're thinking. 
I've got him on the run here and then he's on the back foot next time he comes to the table. But the good thing in this situation for Luca, Mark Selby does need both reds. So, this is quite risky. Dead weight. Oh, lovely shot. That's a super shot. One. Brilliant. Yeah, I love the way he fully committed to it. Didn't try to hedge his bets with that particular shot. Played it just dead weight. Nicely on the black and now 31 point lead, just a red required. Eight. And this is a frame that he could have easily lost, Mark Selby. Luca Brassell had a good chance. But a safety Nine. play. And his knowledge of the angles has certainly helped him in this frame. Two absolute fantastic safety shots has carved out a couple of openings that he needed. And he's duly obliged. 16. 18. It's part of the reason why I love watching Mark play. Is that there's so many facets to his game and the way he places that he mentally takes his opponent into got it, got the lot this guy and he's playing very very good that's the other thing I mean play marks at the one. best of times and, and maybe not quite in the form that we know he's capable of but even then such a tough nut to crack 25 look I played that safety shot welded to the bolt cushion two or three more shots in the, this frame and every one of them he was in trouble himself 30 the old master of 36. thinkmanship does it again Yes, in goes the black from Mark, Mark Selby, an excellent masterclass of tactics in that particular frame. And gets his first frame on the board, he leveled things up now, it's one frame apiece. One frame apiece. Quite eager to get things on, Luca Bissell, but he hasn't played that break very very well indeed he's left a chance for Max LB into this bottom right hand corner pocket what now I wonder Alan point. will he take the opportunity play this red and try and knock the red away from the black it's a big shot isn't it yeah it's whether or not he feels that the natural is to go towards that red good call Kenny and what? He's played it beautifully. Pink's certainly on. Yeah, very good call, as ever, Ken. You see, the beauty of the way he played it, he didn't compromise himself in some way. He played it plain ball. He accepted that he was going to kiss the red. Pink out of commission, black clearly is, so top side Seven. of blue, and get a few things moving down here. Eight. Well, I played that lovely, played that lovely. Nice target. Yeah, this is one of those, isn't it? You, you try and hit it full on, this, the apex red of the bunch, and, and try and hope that it might disturb the red just to the right of the black if not you may be on another one black wasn't moved so 13 it's been a bit unfortunate there could have been a lot easier would it? it was a good hit hit the right red it wasn't a great split 
possible two ball plant here but quite a lot of distance between both reds here he's got to be very precise with this one Played. He was, of course, world eight ball pool champion as well, so plenty of plants in that game. And it was very well worked out. Excellent shot. Nineteen. I love the way the truly great players, the truly great champions of this game, I love the way they go about it. It's almost like the, t the table tells them what shot to play. They listen to the table. The table tells you, right, the black's tied up, the pink's tied up. So he'll just work as long and as hard as he can picking off blues. Quite happy. Go about it that way. I think the red that's towards the ball carrier will go to the yellow pocket so that might help him 26 and when lands the wrong side of the blue that'll be noted be sure of that oh, the shot is actually a wee bit unfortunate because how does he avoid the cannon 31 the second red here Get deep enough in the cue ball to spin this round. Spin it round the corner, not for blue. Mm. It appears not. I'm just wondering, can he get through the gap, Alan, between red and black and maybe come off top cushion, maybe the side cushion? It's a very tricky shot because he's slightly by that red in front of the cue ball the one thing he might actually do here the red that he's looking like he's going to carry he might even screw off it and try and get the cue ball back up that way because this bed's so quick so responsive there's a chance he could play that whether he can get enough of the centre of the cue ball centre striking again looking at the table what do you want me to play here you can bet he'll listen shot time coming up to almost one and a half minutes he did have an unusual shot time against John Higgins was it last season of over six minutes it was quite incredible Sadly, 31. He's just popping the red, just you know, trying to play a safety shot after that, but hasn't worked out. It's a bad miss from into the right center, left center. But yeah, that was quite incredible, Alan, wasn't it? Over six minutes for one shot, and of course, Ronnie O'Sullivan makes a 147 in five minutes and 20 seconds. <laughs> yeah, he definitely got plenty of stick all around, I'll tell yeah. you that. He sure did. Yeah, against John Higgins, wasn't it? 60 odd in front with five reds as well. He <laughs> <laughs> might use the blue as a little buffer here. The red into the blue. And shouldn't get a red north side of the blue spot playing it that way. Once again here, Luke is going to be in a bit of trouble close to the bulk cush. Not as close as Mark was planning. But the other thing about the way this match is now panning out after that nice 71 break in the opening frame from Luca, since then, every time he comes to the table he's got a problem to solve.
31 points behind, pink tied up, blue out of commission, black no good. All the best, Luca. <laughs> well, maybe contemplating taking this red on and try and screw back for it. Maybe one of the ball colours. Tough pot this. But he has it. This artillery. Yeah, great shot. Fantastic. And just look at the action he's got on the cue ball. He's got great cue power, Luca. He's going to have his opponent in a lot of trouble here. Just look at how well he cued this right into the heart of the pocket. He'll nestle up behind the pink here. Look at Brazil one. Shot. Yeah, well played, wasn't it? But three cushions, possibly four, nestling the two reds. Very good. That. Very good to response to the sort of barrage of problems that he's had to face the last 20 minutes or so. Oh, that was a bonus. He didn't play to flick that red. Take what you can get out of there, because good luck, you know, you don't feel like you get that much of it in this game. Briefly bonus, but I think the the cue ball was going to make its way to those two reds. Even if I had missed that red on the right hand side cushion. You can see what's going on here, can't you? There's one player, he's trying to keep it tight. The other player, Luca, trying to keep things open. Doesn't want to get involved in this type of game. It doesn't suit him. Can't play it, Luca, when he wants to, but he wouldn't be as accomplished as Mark Selby in that department. So he doesn't want to get involved. He wants an open game. He's going to be the aggressor. Needs a bit of luck with this kiss, green and pink. One. Well, it's not too bad. And if the pink was on, he'd love to get the pink back down the end of the table and back on its own spot. I'm not quite sure whether the pink does pot past the green. But he could certainly take the brown and maybe go into the red and black as well. This would be an aggressive shot. No, he's just played on a, a loose red. Five. Well, that pink would be a good choice, wouldn't it, Alan, from any of the, these reds here to get it back up onto its own spot? Yeah, I think it does go as well, Ken, doesn't it? So I'd be inclined to play the not this red, but the other red twice across. The chance of being on the pink. Brown and yellow is your out ball. Playing it that way, you're going towards the bulk colours. So if you overcook it, which he has done, you're relying on a wee bit of Six. luck. And thankfully for Luca, he's had some. But that was quite a loose shot. Holds his hand up in apology. That was a, a classic case of not running along the line of position. It was rather going against the grain. When you overcook it, you're on nothing. Still. First things first, try to get himself back into this frame. Shot a little bit of right hand side there, you see the pot success, 95%. It's pretty good, Luca Purcell. 91 from his opponent. Now this is the chance to get the pink back on its spot and this will 11. certainly help his case. Now 
play for the red just to the right with the pink spot if you can if you can dig into the cue ball and bring the cue ball down the right hand side of the table I like what I'm seeing from Luca Brussel this afternoon. Been frozen out the best part of 25 minutes or so. He's had to work for everything. 18. That he's getting today. We know that before the match started, but what he is doing, he's really digging in. He said, a lot of work to do here, and they say fools rush in. And sometimes he can be a wee bit quick in, in his decision making, but it's been. Quite measured today, everything he's done. I mean, good stuff, this. Mm. That's a, mm. Luca Brazil, 18. First sign of weakness there. Wasn't a sitter, but expected to get that. But yeah, it's been good stuff. A lot of it's been good today, Luca Brazil. Surprise and miss. Mike Selby could have taken the red next to the blue down. There was a big pocket here for the pink. It wasn't that difficult that particular shot. Gotta be careful here, Luca Bissell. If he leaves the cue ball in the bulk area, as I said, this pink over this bottom left hand corner pocket it's a big pocket for that red next to the blue so he's got to be careful with his shot choice here Yeah, that pink's causing a problem, isn't it? Quite a big pocket, effectively. Down that left side cush. Yeah, a wee bit reticent to leave anything down there. Uh, the pink there. Big pocket, that. A uh, bit of a stalemate in the offing here. He doesn't want to just tuck in behind the red. He wants to play a proper shot and get things moving. But sometimes there's just nothing else you can do about it. 
not in Luca Brazil's nature to play that sort of shot. He wants to create something. Excellent effort, wasn't it, Abby? Oh, that red up into the green pocket. Wasn't that far away? Just looking here, Kenneth. I know there's no double on, but there might be a treble in the left middle pocket. If, if there is, you'll, you know Mark will find it. Might be worth a pop, this. Yeah, good shell. He's got to make sure that he hits it with enough pace that doesn't want to leave near the left centre pocket. Tempted. See the cue. The red ball. A little bit straighter. That, that shot was possibly on. Yeah, he's trying to be sneaky there, Mark. You know, he's trying to lay a little trap. He's trying to get look at send this red up. As Mark did the last one and leave Mark with the red by the blue. But mm -hmm. he's not going to fall for that one, surely. That old chestnut. <laughs> he might have even been thinking there, Mark, knowing the way he thinks. I'll maybe leave Luca the treble on this red. He might be tempted to play it and leave me in the box seat to push the other one back up table and put him in trouble. <laughs> he's in a bit of trouble here Luca again he doesn't want to just play the negative push dead weight onto the red he wants to create something may just be more prudent just to knock this red towards the red and the blue I feel that might be his best choice I just roll into the red yeah, just knock it towards the, the red and the blue and then does his opponent make a choice it was almost like passing the buck that shot wasn't it like, you're trying to trick me into something pal yeah you have a go mm -hmm. see if you fancy playing the double <laughs> Cracking little passage of play this going on. It appears uh, Mark is taking a risk here. Mm, get both reds down this end. Well, I think that's the oh, end of the stalemate now. Because Luca has got a chance to get the cue ball behind the black here. He can knock this red just up past the he really wants the cue ball back exactly where it is now, just to cover the red on the left-hand side of the table. Good stuff that by Luca Brissell. He held firm in this little battle and now he's got the chance to lay punch to the, the ribs here, Mark Selby, put him in trouble. Just has to be careful with the red that he's playing. Obviously wants to keep it north of the blue spot. not what he wanted, red coming down this end, so he's passed up a decent opportunity there. Yeah, it was a poor shot, wasn't it? He needed to get that cue ball tied to this top cushion behind the black and really make it difficult for his opponent. He had a go with this red, I don't blame him for that, but watch the cue ball. Should have been really close to this top cushion. Would have really put his opponent precarious position I think this 
might be a similar attempt at the pot here. Yeah, hoping to knuckle it. Blue comes to the rescue. That was a wee bit fortunate in the end. The idea was right. Blue, to, as I say, to the rescue. Now, Luca, in some ways, created this problem for himself here. How does he find a, a safe spot? Forced in to have a go and that red that double kiss on the cue ball hasn't helped them. One. It's not too bad. Played for the kiss on the brown just to hold the cue ball. ahead. Six. At least. 19 points from these remaining reds. A couple of reds that you would feel in bulk. That's why he's having a quick look at the scoreboard. How many will he need before his opponent will need a snooker? If he takes the yellow, he's going to need the three remaining reds. Nine. Ten. for a lot of players in the game semi-final loss to Ronnie O'Sullivan a few months ago at the Crucible would have been a tough pill to swallow but again part of Mark Selby's way of playing and way of operating as a snooker player is in some way enjoy the pain he knows it's something you have to put up with so try as best you can to embrace it and he does he doesn't look like he's affected by anything like that where 14. some players surely would be. No, 26 in front. Fifteen. That's to control this cue ball. The, the last red. And he'll be in front for the first time this afternoon. Three ahead, 25 remaining, just the red required. Would have liked to have been a little bit closer to this red. But this red for the frame. Yeah, well played. 22. Forced an opportunity from his opponent. Six. Eight. 
28. So it nicely. He's battled hard, hasn't he, to 31. get back into this match? No, he's had to earn his corn. Absolutely right, Ken. He has he earned it here. Been brilliant. 35. But as I said, he's one of those guys, 40. one of those players, enjoys the hardship and all that goes with it, embraces it. He's got a job in his hands, that fella today. 46. In goes the black and the former world champion and former world number one hits the front. He wins his third frame and now leads his opponent, Luca Brissell. He marked a chance, that was brilliant. They keep keep the gesture at bay for the time being. And Mark Selby's in form so difficult to push him around and create chances for yourself. The Iron Man. I've been calling him that for quite a few years for good reason. Here he is again, listening to the table. What do you want me to play? What will I leave Luca? Where's the where's my value? He's thinning this side cushion, back cushion, back into the ball. That is simply brilliant. That is that is absolutely awesome. Whether or not he gets a chance out of it doesn't matter. What a shot that was. The thinking was fantastic. He deliberately pushed. The red that he's playing, he deliberately pushed it onto the left wing as well. Fantastic. Yeah, excellent shot. Great execution. Nice little tap on the table from his opponent as well, in appreciation. Just got the edge of that red. Oh, that's a nice little bonus. And It was a good clip on the red. He didn't have a look at those reds to see if they were a plant, but certainly weird. Look at Brazil one. Nice little bonus for Luca Brazil there. This is a right old piece of stum he's in here, Mark Selby. How does he rest on the pack? Can't go one cushion. No reds really all that close to a cushion to rest on. Whatever he plays here is going to have to rely on a wee bit of luck getting away with it. Yeah, it was always bound to leave something. So that very good fortune for Luca created a decent chance. As ever though, when you play against Mark, a lot of the times when, when you get a chance, you come to the table and your your arm's cold. Like you've not been able to punch through, through the cue ball. One. And get a little bit of confidence in your action. The good thing for Luca, though, he's naturally good in that sense. He's able to pick up his cue quite quickly. Yeah, 
these are the chances, aren't they? That he's got to really try and score from. Okay, it's not ideal. Six. Black is available into the left or the right corner pocket, so he's got a bit of work to do here. Just had a look at the pink, pink pots into the right corner pocket. He's just having a look to see will it go back on the spot or what would be available if it Seven. had to go up to the yellow spot. Dealey has got to get rid of one of these two reds left and right of the black but just to free up the black into at least one of the corner pockets just contemplating shall he play on one of those reds or shall he wait a little bit more and pick off another couple of reds before he tries to open up the black into either left or right And against most players, most other players, he'd have already played the blue by now. But in, such is the style of Mark, keeping him cold, keeping him away from the table. That when the chance does come along, you sometimes try to be a little bit too careful. And then that's not his natural way. You see, I also what? think against a lot of players, he would have played into the, the red and the pink there and try to get things moving. As I say, the chances don't come along that often 15. against Mark Selby, so when they do come, you think, right, I've got to make certain, I've got, I've got to make something happen here, I've got to score. Consequently, sometimes you end up playing a slightly different game than what your natural one is. is potable into the left or right corner pocket. If he lands somewhere near this top cushion, he could possibly take the red left of the black as well. Play a good shot here. It's travelling this cue ball. 16. He's on a red into the right centre, but... <laughs> Not easy. Just have a look at this red he's taken on into this right centre. Tightness of these middle pockets, very difficult. Oh, that's a great shot. 17. Wonderful shot. That might give a little spring to a step. That was a fantastic pot. Be so accurate. Now, will the pink spot on its own spot, or will it go up and to the highest available, which is the yellow? And it goes up into the yellow, so that will help matters. 23. Only minor thing and I'm nitpicking yes but he didn't really play high on this red if he was high on it he could have played on the black from it and it was almost a guaranteed 24. chance to win the frame now he's just the wrong side of the blue it's almost end of break that's the small details that if Luca Brussel's going to elevate himself to a genuine marquee player in this game he has to iron out those small details for me you land the other side of that red, see where the black is, it's on to left corner. Wouldn't have been a problem. Now the cue ball's doing some mileage. Good recovery. But again, loose cue ball had to rely on a decent kiss. There's the positional success, 77%. As opposed to Mark Selby, who's, well, exemplary, 92 as we expect. 28. But that's the area we're looking at. I feel has to just be mindful of and, and try and improve in that sense. You see, that's not the bad Lucha shot. Brazil. It was a few shots ago. You land. You potted a worldy of a red in the right middle, as Ken said, and then off the pink that followed it, 
It wasn't a very good shot. It wasn't a thoughtful shot. Best attempt from Max Elby. May have got away with this, has he? I hope he's coming around to have a look at this cut on the red, but very tough. Back into a blind pocket. Very risky as well. Doesn't like the refuse pot, so maybe. Feeling it's worth taking on. Wasn't easy. Yeah, that, you know, you, you'd never want to criticise someone for being positive and, and trying to win the frame, but it wasn't a good scoreboard shot, that. He's 29 to the good. He got Mark on the run in some way. But he's just given him a freebie here to get himself back One. into the frame. And he was under no pressure to take it on. He could easily have sliced off the bunch and cue ball in behind the yellow. It wasn't a very good scoreboard shot. Just having a look to see what the black re-spot after he pots it. So when it does. <laughs> just about ten. Referee just having a quick check. I think it does spot. So that will help Mark Selby. Yeah, plenty of room. John, here's Eight. where the nuances of the game and are so important. The absolute top players. Mark will be making sure he's as straight as he can on the next red. Nine. And it's not absolutely where he wanted this. He wants to be straight in this next red to pick his spot to attack the cluster of five. So that's gone astray, actually. Should still be all right, but he's, he's given a little wonder here, a little walk. Just give himself an extra five or ten seconds, because he knows 16. the importance of this. To finish nice and low in the black. Seventeen. Yeah. See, that wasn't a bad shot. It was a couple of shots ago. Deep screw, soft grab on the cue ball. Oh, what a shot. That's unlucky. That was a brilliant shot. <laughs> yeah, he got right into the cue ball there. 24. Didn't he? Couldn't generate a lot of pace on it at that angle. That's why there's not much movement from the Reds. But it was the shot, as you said, Alan. Cost them that. Not being straight on the red to get nicely on the black. And end of break. Yeah, it was the initial red, wasn't it? The one below the black spot when he potted that. He landed straight on the, the next black. Mark Selby, 24. And once again, we're going to be involved in a little game of cat and mouse here on the snooker table. Nine times out of ten, Max Elby comes out on top. So Luca Purcell, he has competed with him to a certain extent in this match. Being patient. That's a better return of safety. 
There's not many players in the game that can get the better of Mark Selby in this particular shot. He's coming around to have a look at possible plant now. Two reds into the left centre pocket. It looks pretty close because he's been look at it a few times now. I don't think it's dead set, so he's going to have to make it. Oh, great shot. Fantastic One. shot. That was a made plant. It wasn't dead set. And that could set him up nicely to win this frame now. We've still got a bit of work to do. Two safe reds. One on Six. This bottom right-hand side cushion. The one on oh, just right of the green. Seven. They both. So a little bit of hope left for Luca Brussel here. This was 17. a thing of beauty, this wasn't it? As Ken said rightly, it wasn't a dead set. Had to manufacture it. It's a bit like in terms of when he plays a plant marks, a bit like leaving John 18. Higgins a double. You don't want to do it. You just fancy him getting it all the time. He, he got an understanding of how a plant behaves. The reds were quite close together. But he worked it out. Now, quite a big target this. Screw into the red. Oh, fabulous. No, what a shot that is. What a shot. Deserve to be nicer on it. I think you can just about snick this back in. But a brilliant piece of thinking. And the execution. Fabulous. Yeah, played it lovely. I just had a couple of glances at the scoreboard. 20 points in the lead. And as I said, he's going to need boat reds. It's not a straightforward run to the line just yet. This does cut in. It's a fine one. No, missed it. Wow. That's a surprise. He's actually playing to knock so. the other red out at the I same time. A bit extravagant. A bit ambitious. Would have been better just potting that red and trying to get on the colour. Yeah, chance for Luca Bissell here. imperative he gets out with the cue ball away from the ball carrier on a nice colour, nice angle doesn't want to kiss on the brown it's no good too straight maybe on the brown and he's disappointed what does he do here does he play the pink and get tight to the brown does he try and bring the yellow away from that side cushion and try and snooker him Using the brown and pink, it might be a bad idea. What would you play here, Alan? Uh, do you know what? I'm just looking. I would actually maybe play the pink and try to promote the red with the pink. You see, it looks pretty, pretty close to that, doesn't it? Stun the pink on and off the cushion. Try and bring the red into play a little. What about getting the yellow away from this side cushion out into the open a little bit more? That If he does get a chance on the red... Okay, he's not going to lay a difficult snooker here, but what he will do... Look at Brazil. One. ...put a bit more pressure on his opponent, because now yellow, green, brown, blue, pink and black are all in the open, should he get a chance? Yeah, that's you know, a pretty good shot to play. Probably isn't going to be rewarded from it this time round, but Mark won't be playing this, I don't believe, anyway, with, with a lot of pace. 
just be trying to buy himself another shot it's just a question of what that shot's going to be in a minute because the way the colours are set see look at getting them in trouble So he has bought himself that other shot. What's it going to be? Play this. this you play the cue ball back up towards yellow, brown and pink. Try and use those three colours as a blocker. It's a big target up there, so... Bit of no fear playing that particular shot. Looks pretty good. Excellent shot. And now this is a little bit more difficult. So, as you said, Max Albies bought him an extra shot, bought himself an extra shot, but there lies the difficulty. Now he can't roll up to the red this time. He's got to trust a little bit of luck. Good escape, wasn't it? Yeah, very good. That was quite deliberate as well. Yes, he can't know exactly where he's going to finish, but he deliberately pushed the red thick on the left side of it, as we see it, trying to get separation. Well, not a lot look I can do with this. Not a lot, and Mark Selby has just given himself a chance. Go 3 1 in front. It wasn't so much as I say that last escape, it wasn't so much it was a brilliant shot, it was just a brilliant piece of thinking the way he played it. Once again, he played it on likelihood of outcome and he got the one he was after. One. Yeah. I think he'd be coming back to the table with such an easy chance, though, Max Albi, that wasn't. Best shot from Luca Brussel. Should have never really get a double kiss there. And once again, he's been second best as regards Five. playing the cat and mouse game with Mark Selby. Seven. We had chances in all these frames, Luca Brussel. Gonna be very, very disappointed as he sits in his chair. He's gonna go two behind would treat the play. Ten. Well, after a really good start, he's just going to sit and suffer this. Fourteen. It's not vintage Mark Selby by Nine. any stretch of the imagination, but he's doing what he's has to do. Twenty-five. Black a formality. Well he's gonna play a little exhibition shot off four cushions. Is the black gonna go in? It's pretty close. Well, it is, with a little bit of help from Mark his Selby. opponent. It does eventually go in with a little bit of help from Luca Brussel. Mark Selby Mark won't Selby. mind. Another frame on the board. He's one frame from a place in tonight's yeah, final. He, he leads Luca Brussel now by three frames to one. Against Steve Maguire frame right five. after this match. So Luca Mark Brissell. Selby leads Luca Brussel. Needing just one more frame for a place in tonight's final. Breaks looks good, giving Max Elby a taste of his own medicine. <laughs> yeah, good call, Kenny. Isn't it? It's one of them when you play Mark Selby, you know, bring your jotters with you because you're going to get schooled. <laughs> he just keeps you, he starves you of chances and table time and anything to build confidence. So difficult to play against.
Yeah, that's only been a, a couple of shots. I mean, in this match, a couple of safety shots that has let him down. And because he looks like he's queuing well, we saw that from the very first frame with that nice 71 break. He stroked in some good long pots, but it's just the uh, the match play side of his game. It's just let him down. I mean, against Max Selby, most players will find it difficult. He's got a chance here into the right centre. There's just been one or two little errors in those frames, just putting a bit more concentration in some of those safety shots, and this match could have easily been level. But these are the chances. He's just got to score, just exactly like he did in the first frame. Seven. Keep a tight rein on that cue ball. He's a very talented boy. And he gets going. Eight. Fourteen. Twenty-one. He's not absolutely perfect on this red. We wanted it. It's a wee bit straight for comfort. Not easy to get top side of the blue where you would want to. So, wasn't the best shot he played off that last pink? It you know means the straight in the red, and he's risking coming round the houses round the back of the the black here. Twenty-two. Played it quite nicely. little soft cannon, the red just above the black, directly above it, a little soft cannon into that one. Yeah, not bad, didn't quite get it full but that'll do nicely. 29. 30. Yeah, this is what he's good at when he's in full flow. Very quick around the tables, sights the shot. Very fast indeed. Just wondering, does that second red up from the black does a pot into this left corner pocket? Looks like it does. Thirty-seven. Can we pot this red? A good look at it. It's very tight, isn't it, Alan? I'm not quite sure whether it does go or not. May need a little bit of side. Yeah. Yeah, well done. Black's no good for the pink's on. So This has been good because, I don't know, I've said it a couple of times this afternoon, but when you start with chances, it's difficult to just flick the switch back on and you get a chance to score. He's not had that many. Ah, good shot. Hit that nicely. Good piece of... Oh, no. You'll be hoping the pink goes in its spot, which it does. 44. Just lost the cue ball a fraction there. So, there's a little risk here. You should still get up for blue or ball colour. Yeah, it's okay. 45. Good recovery. Blue and just leave the cue ball just an inch or two well, to the right of the blue spot and leave a red. And just past the blue spot, doesn't want to hold it, of course, because the blue would go directly behind the blue spot, so that's just about perfect. 50. Mm. 
51. That was a little bit loose as well. 56. He should never have been straight in this red. He's given himself a problem when there wasn't. I mean, that was super basic to not finish straight in this red. That goes, but let's see, he needs to brush up in one or two little areas. Look at Brussel, gives himself the odd little problem here and there. And really, shouldn't have one, but this has been good. Brilliant break, good repost to what's going on. Has he been frozen out for large chunks of this match? 65. And he's shown exactly what he can do here when he. Let's go on. Show a bit of character here, Luca Brissell. And in this short format. 72. Watch up a frame and a very, very quick time. 73. Only seven minutes into this. And the frame is over now. Seventy-eight. And it came. Seventy-nine. Oh, from a mistake from the break, of course. Wonderful break from Luca Brussel. Oh, he's just missed the black, Luke and Brazil. that's a shame because it was a wonderful break of seventy-nine from the man from Belgium. Good break under pressure, and now he's cut the deficit to just one frame. It's Mark Selby though who leads by three frames. Frame six. And world number two, Luca Brussel from Belgium. Of course, the four for a place in tonight's final. Mark Selby breaks off, hoping that this is the last time he'll break off. Break offs have been quite good so far, but this time hasn't covered the red down the left hand side of the table he is on this red look. it's tight having a good look at it really risk it he has the other red to play a containing safety shot big shot this He's the type of player, isn't he, Ali? He doesn't like refusing pots. Yeah, he's always trying to be aggressive when he can. I think that was the wise move on that occasion. Buy himself something better next time round, which I'm sure he will do. Ever. Mark going to work. I think once upon a time when best of sevens became quite normal when the new regime of wall snooker came in ten years ago and we got started getting a lot of these tournaments. I think at the time a lot of people thought we oh, didn't really like the idea of best of sevens but ten years down the line they've sort of become pretty normal haven't they in, in a lot of ways the way you think about them. They're actually good little matches that's it's a good race isn't it? Yeah I totally agree I mean I always loved the longer formats and UK Championship when it was best of 17 the World Championship best of 19 I think a lot of players, as you said, were a little bit scared of the shorter format, but I think they've all got used to it. I've certainly enjoyed it over the years. And another thing we do see a lot of, this match has been won from 3-1 and 3-0 behind, don't we? Mm. Happens an awful lot more than you'd imagine. Well, we saw Judd Trump, didn't we? We got to the final of that English Open against 
Neil Robertson a couple of weeks ago. He was 3 1 down in his first three matches. Ended up winning all three in the end. So, yeah, you can turn it around quickly. That's what Luca Purcell will be hoping to do in this match. Little shake it ahead. He's left this red through the cap of the green and blue. Max Selby coming out to have a look at the black. There's a pot into this right corner pocket. There you see the gap. No, oh, doesn't like it. I think the other good thing with best of sevens, obviously, there's no interval. So mentally, the players go out and think, you could be playing seven frames here. You go out in a best of nine, you know you're only going to play four. I think that helps in some way, from a player's standpoint, that is. It doesn't actually feel like a short match in, in some ways, if you know what I mean. Fascinating little passage of play. Both players clearly know the importance of getting the first pop at chance here. Has to be careful. The red he's playing here doesn't want it to come towards that left corner. Watch the red. Yeah, well done. They kept it quite central, if it runs another 12 or 18 inches, could have left it. Well, good stuff again by Luca. His normal shot here would be the figure of eight safety off the red that's just to the left of the bunch. But he doesn't really want to be pushing reds into the open play where he doesn't know where they're going to finish. The alternative is high tariff. Foul. That wasn't easy Looker at all. Helpful. Brilliant by Luker Brussel. He's forced this open in himself. A bit surprised there from Max Albi. I thought he could have played a sort of containing safety shot there. That in off was always on. chance what does he do does he play it with a playing ball on the cue ball or does he try and swing the cue ball over to the right hand side of the table get on the black he's tried to get on the black but he's One. overcooked it or not that if he was playing up for blue or pink the only thing he did wrong was pot it thick didn't he potted it in the right hand side of the pocket as Give we see it took a little bit of pace One. out the cue ball Let's have a look at that red and let's see, I think he potted this a bit in the thick side. Yeah. And off the far jaw, he just lost a bit of pace in the cue ball. A good return of safety for Max Elby kissing the brown there, so chance. Screw the cue ball back towards the blue. Great shot. Watch the in off. Foul. Oh, Mark that's Sally unlucky. Four. Good pot. Wanted the cue ball over on the left hand side of the table near the cushion, but 
Just didn't get into the cue ball enough. That's unlucky. He's left his opponent. Not possible. Pot as well. Red just left of the pink. Could just line this up nice and straight or maybe with a slight angle. Could play down for the black here or pink. That's a fantastic One. shot. Played beautifully. Look at the cue ball. Wasn't going to leave anything. Should he have missed that red? Now a chance for Max Albi. the way Seven. he played that obviously the black is only on to the left corner so that's the access to getting the reds where he wants them here nice on this next black yeah. Might just develop into a chance to close this match out on the black maybe you can play a little cannon into the red just above the black and still hold for the red into the left corner pocket and play doesn't want a full ball cannon here just a slight little nudge off the red directly above the black try and keep that in play as well delicate little shot this well he said it a bit hard but we might just brush off it still try to keep that red Okay. He's still okay, he's on this red. Black to follow. Sixteen. I think the problem with that last shot, Alan, he could have played a, a delicate little shot and it's actually you know, it's clogged up the the bunch there. And he's going to need a good one. He's got an angle here. He can go into the pack. Well, that's fantastic. You know, using all his Q power there. And he is blessed with a lot of Q power. We certainly need it here. Beautiful shot. Just have a look at the cue ball here. Watch it zip and then zip again. Very nice. You know how much I'm a snooker techno geek and love techniques of different players. And I don't all that much talk about Mark Selby's, but it's fabulous. Such a long backswing. This type of shot. What's the tip of his cue? Any time he plays with any sort of power, it comes back almost to the end of his bridge hand and delivers from there. 31. Watch the tip of the cue here. I'm right back to his fingers. There you go. 32. He's one of those. He's um, a big unit, a big laddie. Like Judd, like Neil Robertson. Makes the table look small. Judge that note nice as well, didn't he? 39. He's on this red into the right corner. He may need to play it with a slight bit of 
right hand side just to straighten it up dead set on it, you see that red is slightly in the way, but you can just play a little bit of right hand side push it through off the other red for the black oh, we didn't push through enough 40 and that was a little bit of a nervy one wow oh. have a look at this Ooh. Push through that cue ball. Yeah, well, he can reach this black to, to even play the pot. He might not even play it. Part of the difficulty with a shot like that is you hardly ever get it. You hardly ever play it, don't you? And blind that thin. And a bit easier playing it on your own table back at home. You've got the new, you know all the, the nooks and crannies and the, the nuances of the way the table plays, but especially where the reds are, and it's another one of those perhaps scoreboard shots. 39 in front, yeah. He's not playing the pot, he's just going to push the black safe. It's the old scoreboard shot. Max Adley, 40. Once again, the lay of the land told him what the right shot was and he duly obliged I think Luca will just be so pleased to be back at the table for all money he looked a resigned figure there in his chair as Mike Selby was in amongst the, the Reds didn't expect to come back to the table now he's got to be careful here he puts the cue ball up into Balk Got to hide that red left of the blue. Decent shot, managed to avoid missing the pink and yellow with the cue ball. Maybe play this on four cushions. That's the left hand side. Just managed to miss that red. But nicely played and beautifully tied to that ball cushion. Yeah, this looks like some sort of shot to nothing here, but there's danger attached to this. If you think about playing the pot, it's going to obviously be quite thin, and then it brings the bump of the right middle into play. I think he's doing the right thing playing the other two reds because he can get left half of the table off that brilliant thinking great pot oh and I guess it would have been nice there yeah. I say though good thinking and a great pot really deserved a nice kiss in the yellow now what do you do One of those, you play the yellow on a feeling, don't you? Sometimes you look at that and you fancy it. Other times you look at it, you just don't fancy it. Yeah, also the, the roll up to the yellow is, is a bit of a nervy one. Doesn't want to try and play into the yellow dead weight, so... Gonna play the brown and try and use the pink as a, a blocking ball.
Look up for cell one. Up brown is where it's finished. Actually been an advantage there for Luca because Mike Selby could have played to the red just left of the brown. Yeah, like you, Ken. I thought he was going to try and snooker him properly there. Mm. The, the trouble is, is not snookering Mark here, but he's going to, at the very least, he's playing a, a containing safety, but also he's going to look to push a red safe, which he will do sooner or later. Trying to push this red towards the black there. You know, decided to just contain for a couple of shots, but to mention again, the next time he comes back, we'll be looking to push something safe. The red to the left, the, the one that's nearest the left middle. I wonder if he could possibly push that up and down. Maybe even promote the black and play in it. It's maybe not quite on. Well, that's an alternative. Hmm. He's done Mark's job for him there. Yeah, it was one of those where he didn't have much of a choice, did he? Pushing at least one red safe, Luca. If it helps him get a, an opportunity, but he's played a really good safety shot there. Not working a slight bit of butter. I don't think Mark can get back to bulk from this particular shot. And once again, a containing safety shot. push up and down there's the way to go here isn't it there's no double kiss on oh, there's another little bonus that was the one wasn't it a few shots ago when I, I agree with yourself Ken when you maybe should have got tried to get tight in behind the pink the minute you let Mark back at the table and he can see reds, you just feel he's going to manoeuvre things into a situation where everything's to his advantage and now we're at that stage. A 38 point lead. Hmm. Well, after all that, he's miscued. And what a way to possibly finish this. Look. Concentrating on digging into that cue ball. Mm. Wow, that's what? such a shame. Such a shame for Luca, of course. Not so much for his opponent. He gladly accepted 39 points in the lead. Ping for 45. So, red colour red. Should be enough. Particularly Seven. red and two colours will definitely be enough, and particularly the p position of the other reds. He's a strong favourite, Max Elby here. Very disappointing for Luca Bissell to Eight. finish on that particular note, Alan. Yeah, he's put a lot of hard work in today, and he, he knew coming out he was going to have to do that, but he, he's been actually pretty good in a lot of areas, but Again, he's starved of chances. You know, he's made he's made the big breaks today. Seventy one and seventy nine. Look at the frames he's won. Eleven. Mark Selby has only had one break over fifty. It was fifty three. But it looks like he's got the job done.
Another one of those though, Mark, that not too precious and not too proud about scoring heavily every time he plays. He'll take the win and hopefully play better this evening. But it's been decent. 18. Yeah, it's been a workman-like performance, hasn't it? Been very steady and consistent, but without any flashes of brilliance. Max Selby, 18. 56 points in the lead. 51 remaining, so Baron Snooker's Mark Selby will be taking a place in tonight's final. Yeah, as Ken said, pretty workmanlike mark today, but thinking back to his quarter-final clash with Neil Robertson at the Crucible a few months ago, and it was kind of similar. He didn't wasn't any fireworks, wasn't any heavy scoring, but he went 5-0 in front in that match, and he grew into it. Played well in the end, ran out a 13-7 winner, and that's what he does. He, he earns the right to play well, almost. He, he doesn't mind having a struggle on occasion. Yeah. Part of snooker player being a snooker player you've got to accept that you're not all, always gonna play the way you want to. No complacency again here, got Luca on the run but push the red into bulk. Push the red into the pocket. <laughs> he certainly has well, him. Frank, what a way to finish. Lucas says, well, I've had enough. And what a way Thanks, for guys. the former world champion and former world number one to finish the match. It was an unfortunate miscue from his opponent that finally led to Max Selby winning this match by four frames to two. He takes a place in tonight's final. Up and coming, Karen Wilson against Stephen Maguire.